What's up guys? Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today I need you to click that red subscribe button and then ask three of your friends to also subscribe because we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers and with your guys' help and your friends, we're going to get there in no time at all. We crossed 500 recently, did a giveaway, and I can't wait for the 1K giveaway. Now I've said too much, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of today. No intro because we're on the phone camera and uh, probably no outro. Unless I put it on my computer later, edit it a little bit, I might do that. Anyways, I'm sitting here in my car while one of the boys is in counseling. And you know what? There there might be a bad stigma on counseling, but counseling is it, it, it's a it's a real thing. It's big and it, it helps you get things off your chest. And you know what, these counselors, sometimes they have some good things to feed back into you. And hey, you can try this differently, you can do that. So I, I really do believe in it and it has helped me personally many, many times. And well now it's helping the boys too. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. So we're not gonna have any moving around. Uh, no real scene change. I know it's kind of boring and it's not really that fun. But what I want to talk about is something that might get a little bit of heat, a little bit of hate, and a lot of love. So anyhow, here we go. Let's begin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright. I've been unemployed since November of 2020, thanks to COVID and Corona and whatever else you want to call it. Thanks to that bug. So I've been unemployed since then, got laid off during my eighth quarantine. Yes, that's my eighth quarantine, and I got laid off during it. Now, it was hoped that, you know, maybe eventually I could make it back into the office. Well, yeah, that, that would have been great and all, but guess what? God has a different plan. Things work different differently, and I've been able to focus on myself, on God, on the boys and just on enjoying life the, since November. I haven't had a job since November and it is now August. I've almost made it a full year without a job. Now yeah, I did get unemployment and at first no, I wasn't getting that extra 300 bucks that everybody was getting because not everybody was getting it, right? Then towards whenever they renewed it, I want to say it was like March, maybe March, or is it April, one of those two months, they renewed it, and then I started getting it, like finally started getting that extra money, and sure, it, it, it helped out, it was good, I, I figured out how to literally live on half of what I was making when I was working, let me say that again, I live on half of what I was making when I was working. Do, do you guys know that for the past 10 years that I've been working, I've literally gone from making seven, seven twenty-five an hour to making twenty-nine twenty-five an hour. And somehow, I went from making that nearly $30 an hour to living off of 15 And I was making $15 probably five, six years ago. Oh. So, thank God for COVID because it, it honestly, there's so much that I've got to take from it, that I've learned from it, that it's taught me. Not the disease itself, but just the whole pandemic and everything that came with it. And so anyhow, now, here I am, I'm ready to look for a job. School starting up. That's my whole been my entire plan this entire time, is to ha take summer off. So selling the Corvette. Guess what? Selling the Corvette allowed me to enjoy my summer and have a total summer off. And next year, I guarantee you, I am taking next summer off too. I will quit a job next summer to have the summer off, just to enjoy it again. Because you know what? Life is not about working. Life is about serving the Lord. 
and during the summer I feel like I'm so much more connected and able to do that because winter time and I struggle and I struggle and I've been struggling lately and uh anyhow that's another story but I just apply I've been applying for these places and here's the thing out of the four that I've already done only one of them has gotten back to me and yeah you know most time you apply and then you reach out and you say hey blah blah, blah just curious but the other three that I applied for they've all just come back and been like no not not selected not not uh you're not uh qualified blah blah, blah with their reasoning whatever quick cool thanks but one of them hey give us a call we'll do a phone interview and then uh we'll see we'll send you a test and then we'll set up some in-person interviews all right cool well i just got off the phone and i just did the phone interview with them and they're like oh great this sounds this sounds perfect you sound pretty good let me send you the link so now i've got this test that i've got to take and then after this test we're probably going to set up an in-person in-person interview now there's one other job that i have in mind that doesn't even involve my degrees it doesn't even involve my degrees but it's something that i do and it's something that i really enjoy and you know god has his ways of saying hey man wake up smell the roses so I just wanted to say that everybody might be hiring but not every person is is gonna find the job that they're looking for because that place might not be hiring and right now in the IT world it doesn't seem like very many of them are hiring because I, I'm almost been doing this for seven years and I'm pretty close to being what you would call a senior developer but this job is literally for an entry level developer like a dude straight out of college and I'm it's clearly that's not me but you know what uh, if it works out I'll take it I'll accept it because I know that he has a plan and that it will come it'll come true it'll happen he's gonna make it happen something is going to be coming and so real quick smash that red subscribe button because I really really need to hit 1,000 subscribers because I'm trying to reach more than just a thousand I, I want to reach millions of people and someday someday I, I pray and I hope that we get there because that that's a chance to spread his word even more share my testimonials with even more eyes even more ears and man I just thank God for YouTube and for me not being able to pass public speaking class yeah I could not pass public speaking class do you get that like does that make sense to you do you connect to that <laughs> because I <laughs> I'm terrible at going up in front of a class to give a speech but you know what I can sit here in front of all of you guys and talk to you guys and then read the comments and reply to your comments and and I love that like that fills me that literally fills me my body my soul with the Holy Spirit and I get goosebumps like I did just now it, it, it's amazing so anyways it's getting kind of long I think I feel like it's pretty long I feel like I've gotten a lot out that I wanted to say but just know that yeah there are some people out there that are going to abuse the system and they're going to be like oh man yeah I'm, I just I can't find a job that I, I want blah 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 I'm not going to take this I don't want to settle you know what it's okay to not settle and it's it's okay to not take a job because what matters most is that that job that you have that you're getting that you're going for they're buying something from you that you can never buy back that is your time you can never buy your time back so for me that's that's been a, one of my biggest problems with getting a job is that I, I need time I need my summer off <laughs>
<laughs> and you know, maybe, who knows, maybe some employer is going to find this and be like, oh my gosh, we don't want to hire this guy. Look at him. But you know what? Here's, here's the thing is that I'll, I'll gladly, I'll work for somebody else for, I, I will sell my time for the right price, but I'm not going to sell more of my time. You got to know your worth. You got to know your worth. And I know that one day I'm going to be a boss and I'm going to be hiring people and I'm going to want them to have time with their, their lives and their lives with their families, with their kids, with their friends, whatever the case may be. So now I'm getting a call. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so there we have it. Just like that. I, I get phone calls all the time about, Hey, you have this and that and, and et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, sometimes I just, I just have to leave. I gotta be a parent, a single parent to three. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. But I know that we're going places and it, it's going to take some time. And you know what? That time I'm willing to sacrifice that time because I know that someday, no matter how much time I spend, chasing my dreams or chasing things that I ain't even supposed to be chasing I know that one day all that time is gonna is gonna just be gone it's just gonna be gone I once had a millionaire tell me you know what Trevor I'm, I'm glad that you get to spend all your time with your kids I'm glad that you get to do what you do because here I am with all this money and all these things and I wish I had more time with my kids. And I'm not kidding. I literally had somebody tell me that. That is a million, was a millionaire. Like, if that doesn't hit home, I I don't know what will. Because when I heard that, I was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. I've only got really about really you only have like 17 years with your kids I mean yeah you have them for their lifetimes but those first 17 years are when oh don't turn off car those <laughs> those first 17 years are you raising them and then they're looking up to you you're teaching them whether you you see it or not they're learning things from you they're learning how to clean the house they're learning how to treat friends how to treat their spouse they're learning all that stuff and they're going to go take that into the world and so you should spend as much time with your kids as you can when they're young and you know it it's hard it's hard it really it really is hard because you're like you're looking at it like man I need to I need to get money I need to pay these bills I need to do that I need to do this just slow down just slow down pump those brakes because they're watching they're watching they're learning and you know what I I hope that when the day comes that my boys can be a better father than I have been and man I I'm I'm proud of how how well I've done to go to go from being married to a single dad and having residential custody it's it's mind-blowing and I honestly I wouldn't want it any other way although someday I pray and I hope that I find my wife and who knows maybe she's watching this <laughs> I don't I have no idea <laughs> I don't know who she is and I'm not looking but one day we'll cross paths and hopefully hopefully then that's where I can show the boys how they can really treat a lady. Until then, I've just got to show them with my friends that, that come around that are that are ladies. So, shout out to all my friends that are girls that come hang out. And to my mom and to my stepmom, grandma, grandparents, you know, all of them. Because that's, you guys are their, uh, their influence on that side so far, so... I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Have a great day. And I know this is a long one. So go ahead. Smash that thumbs up now. Drop me some comments down below. 
Let me know what you think about all this. I know there's a ton, a ton in here, but it's it's well worth it. And it's it's easily going to be overlooked by millions of people. And I wish that I could reach those millions of people because uh, I know a lot of a lot of people we get uh, we get caught up we get caught up in chasing the money, chasing the oh my gosh, I gotta have that next big phone, I gotta have that next big car, I gotta have that nice house. No. Nope. You really don't. As long as you got a roof over your head, food in your belly, and you got God in your life, what more do you need? No more. What more do you need? <laughs> I mean, really. So, have a great day. Don't forget, click that red subscribe button. I see it right here on the back of my phone. And then ask your friends to also subscribe. And uh, I don't have a magnet, but... There it is right there. Go ahead. Click that red button right there. Click it. <laughs> and then share this video with some of your friends or your on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Snapchat, whatever it may be. Share it. Get the word out. Help me get the word out. God bless y'all. And we'll catch you in the next daily video tomorrow.